So with the rise in popularity of DNA testing kits, it's gotten people even more interested in where they come from. Origin is the theme of an upcoming Luna Guild performance at Benaroya Hall to benefit Seattle Children's. Grammy award-winning composer and generally amazing person, Matteo <laughs> Messina, joins us now with more on this unique concert. It's great to have you back. Yeah, thanks, Margaret. You're just Margaret. endlessly creative, which I love. So <laughs> tell us, what is the Luna Guild? Tell us about the concert and why we should all go. Uh, the Luma Guild is a group of about 20 of us in Seattle who gather together every year and our sole purpose is to raise money for kids and families going through treatment at Seattle Children's Hospital. Thank you. And we do it through uh, an annual concert uh, every year at Benaroya Hall where we have all sorts of brilliant guests. What's, what's really fun about it is it's a different subject every year. Right. But everybody comes back, and anybody that comes keeps coming back. Because and just, it's different and interesting every year. And, and, it, and it's fun, and, it, and it's exciting. And I bring in musical guests like big rock bands like Alice in Chains or Heart, yeah. and then the international artists like Imogen Heap, and, and then combine them with the orchestra. And then it's just something people have never seen. And, and the, the most common phrase we hear when people leave is, I had no idea that's what I was coming to see. Right, exactly. So, so this year it's called Origin. Yes. It's about DNA. How do you turn DNA into music? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I uh, was talking with somebody at 23andMe, mm -hmm. and which is one of the one of the yes, testing there's Ancestry sites. and yeah. 23andMe. In fact, it's fascinating. Those the, between 23andMe, Ancestry, and a, a few others. As of now, there have been like 20, over 26 million p kits processed. And, but I think it's because we have this hunger to know right. where we come from, who we are, and who it, we're connected to. Yes, exactly. And and. In the end, if you really distill all that down, I think it comes down to this, we, we hunger for this sense of belonging. Mm. So we sometimes want to see, well, where do I come from? What, who am I related to? Where, what, uh, what genes do I have? Or I should say, you know, where, what, uh, it can come down to what part of Europe or what part of Africa. And, and then it's, it helps us associate and go, well, this is maybe where I fit in in the larger scheme of things right. in the world. And uh, what's been so fun about this is, I found that the more often there are skeletons, and you know, there, there are fascinating stories of people finding relatives, finding a long lost twin. Right. I have a finding friend. a relative they you didn't know you had. Yes. Or, or here's a fascinating one: a friend of mine who comes to the concert each year. She had done the 23 Me like a year ago, and her sister. She's like talking to her sister. Have you done it yet? She's like, here. She goes, oh, I haven't figured it out. And then she did the app, and they figured it out. And it showed they were half sisters. <laughs> oh, yes, this could be very different. Um, um, it, there are lots of discoveries, and there are stories about that, which I think are interesting. But that's part of the human condition too, right? And you think about your own ancestry, and I wonder if these people are really my ancestors, or if what's written yeah. down is not the actual thing that happened in, in life. No kidding. And but what I love love about this is it's what is distilled for me is, even though we have this hunger to know our bloodline, really. When you think about your family, your family isn't necessarily your DNA. Mm -mm. Who is there for you at right. two? In, who do you call at two in the morning? Right. Who is there through the worst of it? Who's there through the best of it? Who's there when you're acting like a complete <laughs> jerk? <laughs> whole, <laughs> and, exactly. And, and and instead of being like what a jerk, it's, it's saying, oh, what's going on with them? I, how can I help yeah. them? I need to listen to them. Like, that's your family. Like just as much as our bloodline is our family. And I, I'm so appreciative. I came from a great family. My folks, you know, raised my brothers and I here in Seattle. But I, I see so much brokenness and then but we create our families by our tribes. Because our we friends. need it and we recreate what if it's not there we make it and even if it is there we make it. Who's performing with you? Uh, this year it's an artist named Sleeping at Last who uh, comes out from Chicago. He, he's one of those artists where you're like, who is that? And then just look up Sleeping at Last. Look up this song called Saturn. It has like 40 million views on, right. on YouTube, but it's, it's such an incredibly uh, beautiful song. And, and his artistry is something I want to introduce to audiences in Seattle. As well, we're going to have the Northwest Symphony Orchestra, who comes back every year, helmed it's by Anthony Spain, amazing. who are incredible. And my patient musician this year is a, a gal named Kira Iaconetti, who has a unique story where she's this great singer and she, she loves to perform, she loves to sing. Mm -hmm. And she unfortunately had a brain tumor and because she valued singing so much, the, the surgeons at Seattle Children's were very respectful of that. So they woke her up within her uh, this is surgery. The video. Oh my gosh, there it is. This yeah. is the actual video. And had her sing while she was uh, being operated on, I so just, they didn't go into any of the wrong places, so she wouldn't lose that functionality. Isn't that amazing? Isn't, that's and this thing just went crazy, crazy viral. Um, you write for Hollywood a lot, but you hire musicians from Seattle a lot 
as well. Is is that part of st staying rooted here? I think it's just yeah. I, I think and that we honoring have, the music talent that we've got. We have incredible musicians in Seattle. Such great musicianship and. Uh, and it, to me, it's fun. I mean, half the time I'm flying around somewhere for either a show or a meeting, uh, and I fly and recorded orche orchestras in Europe and then done in Southern California, but I really love recording the musicians up here. Uh, they're brilliant, and, I, and it helps m create the sound that I put into these films and into the world. How many years have you been doing this concert? Uh, 22. 22. Yeah. What does this mean to you personally? Oh, that's a good question. You always ask good questions. <laughs> uh, you know, honestly, I love um, tackling subjects that are just interesting to me. Uh, I don't ever think, what would somebody be interested in? I just go, this is interesting to me. And then I just kind of open my rib cage, be vulnerable, and put it out there. And, and whenever somebody comes to one of these nights, so often people go, oh, me too. And so they know they're not alone in whatever that hard thing in life is or great thing in life is. And so personally what I get out of it is knowing that that there's we celebrate this together. Like music is how we talk to each other emotionally. And oh, that's so true. It's such a great way to to express and to share things emotionally and I, I it's been the greatest gift of my life. I absolutely love it to be honest. I'm so glad you're doing it. I mean it is authenticity. It is connectedness, and I think there's just such a great amount of healing in addition to the wonderful work that you do for Seattle Children's. Thank you for coming to talk to us about this. Thank you, Margaret. And we will link all the videos and whatnot for people to watch online, because I mean, the thing with Kira is just unreal. Origin <laughs> is happening on Friday, November 15th at Benaroya Hall in downtown Seattle. The doors open at 6, and the show starts at 8. We've got a link to tickets on New Day's website to make it really easy for you. Up next, talk about happiness. French toast with a surprise <laughs> breakfast twist is on the menu we're cooking with Ballard's Watson's Counter. We'll be right back.